The problems at NHIF are more than meet the eye. The problems at NHIF is about private insurance service provider who are trying to make sure the scheme which is going to serve Kenyans properly is going to fail. So today we've come here to put our demands because number one, I had sent a letter to the Parliamentary Committee on Health to give a presentation of my case. I have done research on how that scheme works in the civil, in the civil service plus the discipline forces in this country. And I've seen it is going to work very well. The problem is interference from vested interest, basically from pr private insurance health providers. And from, this, from the discussion in the telephone conversation, we have put our demands that, uh, number one, Mr. Tuoli should resign from uh, the caretaker committee of NHIF. He has been, he has been appointed because now it looks as an interested party in this. We are also seeking, we are also calling for immediate removal of Federation of Kenya employees as a, as a representative of that committee. Uh, from this, it is very clear that there are interested parties and other forces that the civil servant scheme, other than what we have seen, made, made to believe in the proceeding, the presentation that we therefore calling for the immediate removal of Court Secretary General Atwoli from the NHIF's Oversight Committee as he has clearly shown interest in this issue. We are also calling for immediate removal of federation of Kenya employees as a representative to that. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that the current focus is on the 300 million or so allocated for a few healthcare providers. We would like to see a more comprehensive audit covering the entire 400, 304 healthcare providers who have received money from the NHIF. Because you know, you don't just appear in such committees eh, when well, you are ill prepared. And I always believe we better delay justice than to deny it at all. Because I wanted to do investigation uh, conclusively before, but interesting, uh, uh, unfortunately enough, walifunga ufanya uchunguzi kabalo nafanya investigation zangu. Domana ni kauliza, wanipewe na fasi ni ende mbele yao, kama bado wajatua ripoti yao kwa bunge. Kwa kuhusu uhalisi wa hili, ningeomba kwanza wakatai kuwa siyo wao wameongea. Alafu nitapatiana ushairi ya kutosha. Kwa sababu wakisha kataa, ndio naeza nkasema sasa uhalisi wake uko wapi.